thinking about? Us? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time to do that once we get to Pinta. Yeah. It's nice to get away for a while. Away from the job, the stress. Away from that woman. You talking about Tracy? Thank you for reminding me. Hey, you brought it up. Anyway, where we're going, there'll be no Tracy. A nice quad weekend, just the way I like it. Thank you. Well, you two make a lovely couple. Oh, thank you. Hi, you are? Dr. Chris Manor. I'm Elaine. Mike, hi. And uh, what do you do? We're police inspectors. Police inspectors? Mm -hmm. Wow. I love to chat, but I have to collect my mother. Catch you guys later. Sure. Bye. See ya. Hi, uh, last name Chin. We have reservations for two rooms. What a surprise. Tracy. What are you doing here? Humbling some groundwork for my story. But I thought you were fired. I resigned. That's the difference now. I'm just freelancing until I get back on my own feet. I didn't think that position was possible for you. So, uh, your story is about Bintan? Two rooms. How quaint. Yeah, okay. No. Well, just relax. I can't. I can't believe she'd actually follow you here. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. They just ignore her and enjoy the weekend. Oh. Oh. Carrie? Carrie, where have you been? Help me with my bags. Carrie? Oh, are you okay now? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah? Thank you. you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright. Oh, thank you, thank you. Why? Your actress girlfriend cannot stand up for herself, huh? I'm not an actress. I'm a star. Right, Carrie? And then you go check him first. Don't you ever humiliate me in public. That's enough. Let go of my arm. Both of you. Only after my money. Come, let's go. I can't believe he's doing this to me. Cool down. Thank you. By the way, this is Colonel, an old friend of mine. Oh, hi. Colonel? Retired. Come, Sulin. Let's check in. Interesting bunch of people, aren't they? Rex now, master illusionist. Be sure to catch the show tonight. I promise you a performance you won't forget. Settle in. I'll come back in about half an hour. Okay. Mike! I really need your help. With what? There's something wrong with the plumbing in my room. The resort's fully booked. I have nowhere to stay. What a shame. Look, I really need to finish my work today, and I need a night to stay. So, I was wondering if... If you could stay with Mike? No, nothing like that. Could I share a room with you? What? I'll pay for everything. No. Look, I promise to keep out of your way. I'll get another room first thing tomorrow morning. And oh no! Come on, Elaine. What, you wanted to stay? She just needs a place to do her work. Look, I know we both got off on the wrong foot, but uh, I think this is a chance to get to know each other a little better. I don't want to know you a little better. Why don't you stay with me? She can have your room. 
I have a better idea. Why don't you stay? You stay and I'll go. Lee. Hey. You told about our weekend, didn't you? No. Then how did she find out we're here? I don't know. She's a reporter. She's trained to find out things like that. This was supposed to be our weekend. Our chance to work things out. We still have that chance. Look, Tracy or no Tracy, this break is just for the two of us, right? Why don't you stay with me? Let her have the room to herself. No. I can take anything she throws at me. You can stay with me. Thanks. I'll go get my bags. It's going to be one long weekend. Get change. I'll stay on the beach. Anyway, you might surprise yourself. I like your swimsuit, it really flatters you. Let's get this straight, Tracy. I don't like you, and you don't like me. I'm only letting you say because for some reason it seems very important to Mike. So why don't you do the two of us a big favor? Keep out of my way. You're very handsome. Mm. You look just like my co star, Randy Cobb. Do I? Uh huh. He asked me not to marry Carrie, you know. Hey, okay. marry Carrie? Got right, huh? So cute. <laughs> anyway, I told him if Carrie asked me to marry him, I'll say no. Stupid, right? Carrie is very rich, no? But I thought Carrie was already married. No lah, they're going to divorce really. Look at her. My goodness, so ugly. So fat, still wear like that. Hey, she looks like a marshmallow. Hey. How was it? Nothing I couldn't handle. Let's get into the water. It'll make you feel much better. Oops, um, you'll play ball with me afterwards. Oh, beach volleyball. Yeah. Sure. I'll see you then. Of this. Grace, take five. Mm. Well, since you're getting divorced, I thought you'd like to share in your happiness. That can't afford 20,000. Should have thought about it before you did it. Keep this up and you'll regret it. Is that a threat? Gets them every time. Lucky for you, I'm a reasonable man. I suppose we could negotiate. Not here. The beach bar, 1130.
He think this is funny. Making me spend the whole weekend in front of his mistress. Well, this is not the first time. I know, but I can't stand it anymore. It won't be much longer. Soon you'll be free. Sometimes I feel like killing him. No, no, no. Shouldn't say such things. Why not? I hope she die too. Hello, dear. Hope I am interrupting something. Okay. I'm going for a walk. And don't come back. Don't do anything I would. Hey, the gang is all here. Hi, guys. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Annette, do you want to play? Sure. Hey, Mike. I want to be in your team. Okay? Sure. Hey, Kerry, can you give me a drink, please? Finish your game first, yeah? Thank you. She likes to win. Hey, you're not sporting one. Hmm, I don't play anymore. We won, we won. Hey, let's call it a day. Quitta! Tony. Hey, what are you doing here, my friend? On a holiday. Mm. Don't tell me you're in charge here. I ah, got posted here about a year ago. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, this is Hatono. We used to go to school together. Hi, 
Hi. 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 Terima kasih ya. Sama-sama. Terima kasih. The bartender prepared a drink. They placed it on the counter before it was served by the waiter. How much time in between? A minute at most. Did the bartender or waiter see anyone go near the drink? Nope. Had they met Annette before? Mm -mm. Hey, you trust them? No reason to lie. Look, Mike. We seldom have cases like this down here. I would appreciate your help. Sure. Let's start by questioning the others. Thank you, my friend. Okay. See you. I'm coming too. What? Yes. If you can help, why can't I? But you're not a police officer. And you are not in Singapore. Besides, two heads are better than one. I'll go to Hartuno. I don't want to spend the whole day with that. Why don't you look around? See what you can find. Okay, anything to keep her away from me. Uh, this weekend is turning out all wrong. What were your plans for the weekend? I just wanted to drive my wife crazy. The same thing she always does to me. But if you couldn't get along, why are you here together? She wants my money after the divorce. Did you order the ring for Annette? You mentioned you were an actor. When did you retire? Seven years ago. So what have you been doing since? I invested in a small chemical plant. When your drink arrived, you left the table. Why? I was looking for Rex. We were supposed to have a meeting. About what? Money. What about money? Oh, it's private. It's nothing to do with that. If you want my opinion, I'd say it was Al who killed her. Why do you say that? He was closest to the Blue Tropicana. The what? The Blue Tropicana. There's a special ring around here. But how would Al kill Annette? I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe he wanted to end the relationship and she wouldn't let him. Not likely. They're not even married. So Al could actually leave anytime he wants. Mm -hmm. You don't know her like I do. So you've met her before? Once. A long time ago. What can you tell us about her? Well, there's more to her than meets the eye. Try it again, how did you do that? <laughs> Never try the same trick twice. You had a meeting with Mr. Al? Yes, but you were late. Why? Well, I was on the stage checking the equipment for tonight's show. I mean, can't be too careful, you know. What was the meeting all about? Money that he owes me. I remember Al said something about you doubling the amount of money he has to pay. It's not polite to eavesdrop, Miss Teo. He'll get you into trouble one day. So, uh, why did he owe you money? I'm afraid you have to ask him. He's the one with something to hide, not me. What is the nature of your relationship with Mrs. Ao? We're old friends. How old? Since childhood. I'm sorry if this offends you, but it seems to me that you two were more than friends. Look, I'll be frank. I don't like Ao. I think he's treated his wife very badly. And that made you angry? Angry enough to do something rash? Nonsense. If I want to kill anyone, it would be him. Under the term of a divorce, I get half of what he owns. When will that be? Next month. Where were you when Annette was killed? Taking a walk with Colonel mm. What time? About uh, five past eleven. Mm. So when did you return to the beach bar? About 11.30. There seems to be only one possible suspect. Carry on. Annette and Dr. Chris were with you playing beach volleyball. Colonel Ng misses Ao by the beach too. And Rex was on stage checking his equipment. Seems like everyone had an alibi. Hi, guys. Hi. Any suspects yet? All our guests have been accounted for. 
Except for your mother. You must be joking. She's under sedation. Hi, Mike. Hey. Hi. Hi, guys. I've got an autopsy report with me. Guess what poison was used? Cyanide. Carrie Al runs a chemical plant. No, it's too neat. Then where is he now? What the? Huh? The gun was fired in this room. Yeah, but who wanted to kill him? There's no gun here. And the bad doesn't like suicide to me. Suicides don't shoot themselves in the chest. Perhaps they get a lap through their door. People around. Too much of a risk getting out of the way. Won't there be left a dying clue? Lady, this is not a detective novel. Hey, are you supposed to do that? Hey, don't tamper with evidence. Let's go out and be able to see enough crime people to come here. Come on, let's go. Come on, walk away. This is a crime scene. Please. Mr. Police, be this. Please. Must. Bantu saya, uh, tolong panggilkan pegawai polis yang lain kemari ya. Ya, Pak. Terima kasih. Selamat Two murders in a row. I thought he was the murderer. It looks like we have to start questioning everyone again. Not necessarily. I think the killer is someone a lot closer to the family. Why? This whole thing is just too complex for an outsider to be involved. I'll explain when I get more proof. Hey, kamu! Kamu di sana! Minggir! These people, busy body. Okay, we start the interviews once we get the body out of here. Right. Okay. Ah, kamu berdua, mari kembali. Saya mau kamu periksa kamar ini dengan teliti sekali dan lapor dengan saya. Siapa? Hmm, mari. What the? Unbelievable. Who would want to steal the body? More importantly, how? Isn't it obvious? No, it's not possible to carry a body down three stories. It's also pretty crowded outside, you know. I mean, someone would have seen something. The only other way out is through the front door. I'm sure I'd notice somebody carrying a body. But why would anyone want to come back here and steal the body? Hang on. The waiter he chased away. Maybe he saw something. Stop here. Go on. You sure? I know how you look like. It's not here, Mike. Could there be another ship of waiters? No. Nope. They were all there. Maybe he didn't see anything helpful. Yeah, but that's not the point. But how can a waiter just disappear in the thin air like that? Vanishing waiters, disappearing bodies. They never taught this in the academy. But where was the body stolen in the first place? I think once we discover how the body disappeared, we'll figure out why. Now that your husband's dead, how much do you get? Nothing. He gave all his money to his company. See? She has got no motive. We still need to know where you were at the time of the murder. In my room, resting. Can anyone verify this? That doesn't mean she killed anyone. Well, as they say, hell hath no fury like a woman. What about you? You're a magician. Oh, please. Calm down. This is just a procedure, okay? I need to account for everything you do, all right? I was having lunch at the cafe. I was at the beach. And Dr. Chris was with us. Anything else, Mike? Just out of curiosity, Mrs. Al. When did you meet your husband? Seven years ago, after his first wife died of a heart attack. For my next item, watch as I will 
suspend my lovely and gracious assistant, Grace. Are you ready, Grace? You are. All right. speak properly. Watch. Ta-da! Wow. Terrible business. All these murders. Yeah, two in a day. Tell me. Is this normal in Singapore? <coughs> Unfortunately. <coughs> it's getting a bit cold here. Maybe you want to button up your coat. Mom, let me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for my grand finale, I present the sarcophagus of doom. Oh. Who can escape from this chamber of death? Someone had jumped in. But Rex was checking earlier today. First Annette, then Ow, now Rex. What did the three have in common? I don't know. I can't think anything at the moment. Wait, I remember Rex and Ow arguing earlier today. Something about money. And Rex seemed to know a lot of things about the other people. You're right. Mm -hmm. Could it be blackmail? Ow had a letter when he confronted Rex. I wonder where that is right now. Mrs. Al, when you were here earlier, you looked pretty upset. There was a letter in your hand. Can I see it? It was addressed to my husband. Enjoy the show on this anniversary of your ex-wife's demise. Tickets will cost double the amount. Signed, R.N. R.N. Rex Nam. What was our being blackmailed for? Before I married him, people were saying that he's not a good person. You know, his first wife died. Well, he inherited a lot of the money. And there was talk saying that he killed her. Did he? If he didn't, then he's paying a lot of money for nothing. <gasps> blackmail. That opens up a whole new angle now. Maybe his murderer is one of his blackmail victims. But who? Carry out died even before Rex was killed. He could be blackmailing someone else. Like who? I've never been blackmailed in my entire life. We're not interested in what happened before. But right now we have three murders. He's right, Chris. Mom! He's right, Chris. Answer his question. How can you say that? No more secrets. Well. 
I lost a patient once. There, you happy? When was that? Seven years ago. I was nervous. I made a mistake. But the board cleared me of all blame. So why did you pay him? When you are a doctor, your reputation is more important than anything else. Somehow Rex got all of my records. He threatened to let my patients know. Thank you, doctor. Looks like it's all coming together now. Well, you have it all figured out? Some parts are still missing. I have to make some calls tomorrow morning. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? Now, let's all get a good night's rest. What? How could you sleep at a time like this? We've done all we can. But here's something to think about in bed. No one had a motive to kill Annette. Mm -hmm. No one had a motive to kill Al. Yeah, but two people had motives to kill Rex. Al and Chris. Remember this. Al was already dead even before Rex was killed. Well, which leaves only Chris. But Chris was with us during the two murders. Something to think about. Good night, guys. Good night. I wonder if Mike really knows what he's talking about. I see your usual communicative self. Why don't you give it a rest? Why don't you lighten up and relax? Hmm? I would if you hadn't come to ruin my weekend. Your weekend with Mike, you mean? You've been planning this for a long time, haven't you? you can say what you like. Why are you doing this? Actually, I didn't have to. But you made it all so easy. I'll tell you what your problem is. You don't know what you want. Not with your life. Not with Mike. What did you come here for? To talk things out? Elaine. You talk too much. You can't even make up your mind whether you want him or not. Well, I'm making it up for you. Because you are not being fair to Mike. He's only staying with you out of some misguided sense of loyalty. You think you know Mike very well, huh? Well, what do you know about him? I mean, what do you really know about him? Do you know where he goes to when he's stuck on a case? Has he ever taken you there? Or do, you, do you know that he visits the grave of his brother every month? Do you know what flowers he brings? Do you know why? Do you know any of this? Elaine. All that's in the past. How well do you know him now? Good morning. Hi. Do we have phone calls yet? Yep. So what do we have? Two motives to kill Rex, none to kill Nat or Al. I think it's safe to assume Rex was the murderer's target all along. You know, I can't help but think that the murders happened in the wrong sequence. Wrong sequence? Yeah. Okay, everybody wanted to kill Rex, right? So why didn't he die first? Okay, for example, let's say I kill Rex, and then Annette and Al were witnesses, then I have a motive to kill them. But since they're not, why kill them before Rex? The ABC murders! What? In the ABC murders, the killer murdered three people in a row. But the intended victim was the third one. The first two were only decoys to confuse the police. Sounds a little bit far-fetched to me. Wait. In the Caribbean mystery, someone realized a murder was about to be committed. So the killer murdered him before the intended victim. Do you get a headache when you think this hard? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry. That's it. What? 
You're a genius. What did I do? All right, Elena and I were sitting over there. This is where Colonel Ng and Mrs. Ao were sitting. This was Ao's table. He was sitting here, and then next to him. Before the game, Annette asked him to order a drink for her. So? When the drink came, Ao asked the waiter to put it across. That wasn't where Annette was sitting. The drink wasn't for Annette? We just assumed it was. The drink was a blue Tropicana, wasn't it? Rex's favorite drink. But that still doesn't explain who put the poison in the first place. Let's get Dr. Chris and his mother, Mrs. Ao and Colonel Ng together. What's all this about? I don't know what I explained. Let's go inside. Oh, no. He's dead. But who? How? We better move outside. Wait for the local police to arrive. Okay, people, come on. Just stay back. Thanks. We're right back where we started. Four murders? My gosh, surely this is not normal. The murderer has got to be one of us. And I have a good idea who it is. Let's go inside, I'll explain. It's gone! Not quite, my friends. Not quite. What? How? Oh. A simple actor's trick. Using a reversible outfit. See, there was no way the body could have been carried out. So the body was not carried out. Al wasn't dead? He walked out of the room, right under our noses. But where is he now? That's the other part of the problem. We've established that Annette's murder was a mistake, and that Rex was the intended target all along. Mm -hmm. We've also shown that Al was a prime suspect for Annette's murder, and that he's not dead, but only pretended to be. How was the murderer all along? He would kill Rex, then pretend to be murdered as well. So while the police are looking for his killer, he would make his escape. Because once the police thought that he was killed, he could still murder Rex at his leisure. Yeah, which he did by sabotaging the magic show. But Al needed an accomplice. The person who pronounced him dead, Dr. Chris Manon. What? Me? If anyone found out that Al was still alive, his deception would be over. And who wouldn't believe the doctor? When you were examining him, you reach out underneath his body, took the gun and hid it. Preposterous. Why would I get involved? Seven years ago, Mr. Al's wife died, and he inherited a lot of money. I did some checking. You were her doctor. The patient you lost was Carrie Al's first wife, wasn't it? I told you, the board cleared me of all blame. No, there was never a board of inquiry. I don't understand all these ridiculous accusations. See, once the murders happened, Al needed to find a way to get out of here. He couldn't use his own passport because he was officially dead. What's more, there's no record of a carry out passing through the immigration on either the Singaporean or Indonesian side. Wait, I don't follow this. Al didn't come to Bintan as himself. He came disguised as someone else. Isn't that right, Mrs. Menon? Congratulations, Inspector. You've got it all figured out. Perhaps you would tell me where I've gone wrong. <laughs> See, Mrs. Menon didn't show up until after Al was dead. That in itself doesn't mean anything. But over dinner, when Elaine asked you to button up your coat, you fumbled with him. Yeah, when you tried to do that, you did it left over right. On ladies' clothing, it's right over left. Now, a woman would never make a mistake like that. But I've got to be going. Shut up. Go that way.
Here, let me get that. It's okay. I didn't expect us to have such an exciting weekend. Neither did I. We're a good team. We are. Look, Elaine, I'm really sorry things didn't... Don't, did... Mike. I don't want your apologies. I've been doing some thinking. And I need some time to cool off, to find out what I want. I see. Come on. MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.